Hello again. I want to take this opportunity to record a bit of an editorial and I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for taking the time to watch a recorded message that I made recently that was used for the premiere screening in Melbourne of the film The Promise starring Christian Bale, Oscar Isaacs and the French actress Charlotte Le Bon. Now the idea was to support the movie and also alert people to the fact that the film was an important uh, product uh, to fight misinformation and propaganda about that period in history and that it needed as much support as possible. Now because of your efforts and especially your encouraging posts about the recorded message, can you believe a week and a half now after the screening we're fast approaching 80,000 views. So thank you. If you haven't seen the movie, please put it on your watch list. It covers a time when the once mighty Ottoman Empire was starting to crumble during World War I. The story develops around a series of events and actions that change the lives of millions of Christians in the region. I'm referring to the many Armenians, the Pontic Greeks and the Assyrians, people who all lived under Turkish rule at the turn of the 20th century. Now, I know through first-hand accounts in my life, in my family, that many hundreds of thousands were killed. Independent historians, though, are speaking of millions being decimated in a genocide. Successive Turkish governments have attempted to rewrite history by saying, this uh, recording of history never happened. It's a lie. However, the Hollywood movie, The Promise, counters that view with a very moving narrative. And I chose, of course, to record the message to one of my forebears, especially those who didn't survive. And Lord knows there were many too many of them. They lost everything. And I also did it for the people who did survive, my grandfather and my great-grandmother, and they ended up in Australia many years later. But they risked everything to escape Ottoman Turkey. The message is meant to also challenge the status quo. The Australian newspaper saw the message that I recorded and they published an article in this week's paper under the heading, Denikian slams the SBS. Although it wasn't meant to be an attack on a former employer, I did want to encourage the television network to review its current stance on the genocide. SBS says it's towing the official government line. It was a mass killing of Armenians, but not a genocide. I beg to differ. My promise is to all those that follow, never to forget what happened more than a century ago. And again, I urge all governments involved to think again about the official line and consider what it would really mean to millions of people to officially recognise the atrocities as a genocide.